flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You get to see the better looking, too, so I'm back here, but we're, we're all here. Uh, we're going to call a meeting to order. Uh, look for a motion to approve the agenda. So I'll, move. I'll second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. The minutes from the 11-16 meeting. I have one question on them. At the bottom where it says that after I gave my report, I left. I left because I left to go to a, attend my Edmo meeting. So. It doesn't matter why you left. Yes, you're done. I can't. It doesn't matter why you left. You just have to know it in the minutes that the person left. Okay, I've never seen that in yeah, all the years that I've been here. No one's ever been I've never read it. Just a couple weeks ago, Rick was on. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I never read it a minute, so I guess that's my question. That's the reason? I guess that's the reason. The meeting, you know that. You, know that. you have to, because when you take the vote at the end, everybody adjourns. Oh. Well, you can't say all eyes because somebody was gone. Somebody was gone. Yeah. Okay. Ben, tell I'm me. just saying. I never saw it in any other minutes, and I was just questioning why it was in there. So, okay. That was my question. So would you like me to get you a copy of it? I'm not worried about it. I just asked the question as to why it, I never read it in any other minutes that uh, it was there. So it kind of struck me that I walked out of here, got on a meeting, and stood there for 45 minutes. So it wasn't like I was going to a haircut or something. I left to the meeting. That wasn't the intent. Though. I didn't say it wasn't intent. I just asked the question. Peggy. Every so time we know it in the minutes when people leave early. Always. No, yeah. Yeah. Always. Okay. So with that, is there any other questions or additions or corrections to the minutes? I'd make a motion to take the minutes from the 16th. Accept them. I'll second. Any dis more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. General public concerns. Is there anybody on there, generally public? No. Nope. All right. Well, seeing and hearing none, we will move on to John. I Means he's here and he's probably got a busy schedule. Thank you for stopping yeah. in. I guess it's okay for you to stop because you're here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to zoom from your office. Nope. No. I, I, no. I don't even know if I can set that up. <laughs> I can zoom from my office. No. So, we checked on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's anything from several years back, and I don't know, I have to say that because I don't know the specific time, but at some point in time, you had asked the Board of Supervisors if you could help out some transitional work in Hamilton County. Yeah. So, and they said yes. But it's come to our attention, you still are helping them. Yeah. Well, so, we just yeah, wanted I mean, to ask you about that. <laughs> Well, the county attorney in Hamilton County has just turned 75. He is the longest tenured, oldest county attorney in the state of Iowa. Uh, he has been incredibly nice to me. I'm not sure why. So if he needed help, I told him I would help him out. At the time when I told him I would help him out, he was not planning to run again. <coughs> he then ran again. And now, I've been waiting for him to retire. My plan was to help him out until he retired, but he hasn't retired. Oh. <clears throat> so that's why. He doesn't have time to train somebody, so his, he wanted me to help because the pool of people he can pull from, they're all brand new attorneys. And what I've done here since I've been in Humboldt is I've held probably too much, but <clears throat> the small towns, the city of Humboldt, Kasuth, Wright, Pocahontas, Webster, Calhoun, and Hamilton <clears throat> with conflicts or whatever, in case I have them. And in turn, I think I've sent three cases away. I would like to send more away, but I can't justify it. So 
the plan on this was to help him out until he retired. Uh, and my understanding was he was going to retire at the beginning of 2014, beginning of 2014. And then he didn't, and then he ran again in 2018. So that's why I'm still there. And that's a four-year deal? Yeah. But, like I said, he just turned 75. He, I have no idea why he hasn't retired. He could have retired. We're trying to figure it out. He can't possibly be making, not getting extra diapers. He's not, not helping him. Yeah. He's working. So, <clears throat> no, but I expected him to quit. And uh, he told me he was. So, um, but, you know, and I think he's kind of touched on something that's a good thing is these smaller counties, you know, with uh, helping back and forth. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice if uh, sometimes if take your small county around mm -hmm. here that has a county attorney that's going to be gone on vacation for a week. And maybe the adjoining county, right. the county attorney could say because of things that could <coughs> come up in that week, uh, something uh, law enforcement more so related probably than anything. And I've done that with the Pocahontas County. Yeah, and, and, and <coughs> reciprocate back and forth. So that part's good, but the fact that You've been spending, you know, whatever amount of yeah, time. Yeah. My question is, how much time do you spend over there? One day a week. One day a week. So, so about 20% of your time's over there. Mm, yeah, but uh, a lot of times it's a half day, and then I come back here. So, I I doubt it's 20% of my time over there. Okay. But it's a fair percentage, and you know didn't bring you in or anybody else to talk how much anybody's making, but you know, you're you're kind of considered a full time attorney. Right. But you're not you know, it's not like it's a fifty fifty, we know that. It's right. not fifty percent of your time. But it's a percentage of your time. Right. When you're considered a full time attorney in, in uh home County. Right. So that that is a bit of a, a, a problem. I thought, you know, this was a temporary thing that's gone on for well, yeah, six years. That'd be six. Probably yeah, seven since 2014. Probably six. Uh, yeah, because Eric asked me that question. How long has this been going on? I said eh, I couldn't remember. I said I guess I guess about six, seven years. I, I knew it was a while ago. And there's no we have Peggy. There's no formal agreement. It's no. Not, there's no 20E or anything. No. We're sharing you, which you know I don't know if any county share a county attorney. No. I suppose some do, but to share a county attorney. So you have to be elected in both counties. Yeah, I can see that. To share yeah. an elected position. To share assistant that's handled in different ways or different counties. So there are some counties that share assistants that don't have a twenty eighty acre and they just treat them separately. There are some counties that share assistants that have a twenty eighty acre. <coughs> so I mean this isn't so much I would think as helping out, because I think that's a good thing. The small counties around, and that you know, hopefully, got a good relationship with the other county attorneys that mm -hmm. you can talk back and forth and fill in if needed. Right. Well, yeah. But this is kind of above and beyond that, John. I mean, we're expecting you here all the time, except you know, on your days off and what have you. Right. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe you could alter that relationship and get back to more of a hundred percent time, you know. Because that's that's the way it's set up. I mean, you're elected as a hundred percent full time county attorney in Humboldt, no other well, county. And, I mean, regardless of what I spend in, in Hamilton, I mean, I still easily put in forty or fifty hours a week here. Yeah. Easily. So, I mean, it it's all yes, well as far as ben? I understand. It's not anything okay, he can hear. Okay. And you know, if you look at a twenty eighty agreement. <coughs> What, where you can run into some problems there is if all the money comes from Humble, it, my salary is set by the compensation board here. Mm -hmm. It has to be set by the compensation board. So, and I don't think the compensation board's aware of your uh, agreement, gentleman's agreement with Hamilton County. Yeah, they, let's come up in there. But, you know, the last, like the last two meetings of the compensation board, 
One meeting I had frozen pipes and the other meeting I was gone. Mm -hmm. So it's been three years since I've seen the compensation board. Mm -hmm. But no, it came up, I think it came up three years ago. I, I, I'll probably agree with you. I think I sat in on a board meeting when it got brought up. I so the compensation. Board. That's probably been three years. It's been a while and it's been a while ago. And I will I will point out that when I started here, uh, the compensation board it, it compares my job to jobs in other counties that have two a county attorney and assistant and here it's just me. And <clears throat> the last I don't know how many times that I've actually gone in front of the compensation board or told Ashley what to say. I'm paid right in the middle of the counties that are similar in size with one county attorney. Mm -hmm. So I'm not complaining about my salary here or anything like that. I have no idea how much I'm making in Hamilton County, but I can tell you it's not very much. Um, I think it was, I don't know, I worked there in 2005, six, and I don't know, I don't know if it's more or less than that. Not much, but. Um, I, I got a question. Yeah. Are you, do you have a, like a, are you considered like an assistant county attorney over there or are you just a fill-in? I'm, I'm I'm like I'm because I'm not the county attorney, I'm considered an assistant. Okay. So, I, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, our, our concerns is that, that Humble County gets stuff done. You know, have you had a problem with me getting stuff done in the past? Well, I've had a few times I've asked you questions I've never got an answer back. What questions were those? On the, well, the air conditioner is down there. I think I asked you three times and never got a response. Well, that, I, I was just, I, you just no, I understand, you know, I understand. The air, and all I asked for was a letter from yeah. you to uh, the tower company and, and we never got it. That's, um, that is some problem. But we're getting information on that. Uh, <coughs> I think the insurance, we finally turned it over to the insurance company and their attorneys are working on it. But um, I, I just want to make sure that stuff in Humboldt County is getting done. Well, yeah, you're considered full time Humboldt County's attorney. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're requesting that you get back to that full time status because we, there's no formal agreement as we've determined. No. It's a gentleman's agreement. You know, we'd never uh, probably, you know, say no to help in a transition, but a seven, eight year is, is not a transition. It's, it's a, it's a part-time job. And you're not supposed to be part-time someplace else. You're supposed to be full-time at Humble County. That's the point. And I won't name any names, but there's been also some concern, and Rick brought up one specific matter. Uh, some other things from other county entities other than us that think that, you know, the county attorney needs to pay closer attention to the humble county and devote the time and effort to things that, that need to be done in our county. And we're concerned that knowing that you spend some amount of time in Hamilton, that might be part of the reason why some of their things weren't getting handled as quickly and properly as they should be. Okay. Uh, I guess no one's come to me with any direct complaints, but as far as... They came to us. Okay, well, maybe you didn't pass those on. And, uh, <coughs> Just concerns, not outright complaints. I think Rick gave you a... a, a now, that is, yeah, but that's, that's, also, instance. that's also a board that, that I don't represent. Um, and I have what... You know, I spent a lot of time with the emergency manager board trying to help them. Yeah. And uh, we also got outside counsel to help them. They followed none of our advice. And so part of what I've decided is when the board's not a pure county board, I mean, it doesn't make any sense for me to spend a lot of time. I can't tell you how much time I spent on that stuff for no one to listen to what I say, no one to listen to the attorney that we hired to help us, and then <clears throat> go on and do whatever they want. So I'm out of those. And so the hybrid boards, I'm done with them. Because I can help the county, just the county, mm -hmm. but on these hybrid boards, people have been asking me, 
for advice, for help. It's not followed. And I, mean, I feel like I wasted all of my time. Yeah, and I'll just, uh, just explain to you. We might have general public listening. Hybrid board is basically a board where the county sits on it. Law enforcement might sit on it. City mayor sit on it. It's a, you know, it isn't just humble. Right. So I'm just. No, oh, yeah. yeah. So like the emergency management commission is, that's all the mayors, the mm -hmm. sheriff, a supervisor, and, you know, we've had a lot of work on that board since I've been here. And we spent a lot of time before the last one was hired. Well, I might yeah. say. That's fine. That's thanks, Rick, for the explanation. If I yeah, well, I just thought. But I, was listening and to no. I might look at that too. That it is still a county board. It's not a county board, though, Eric. Well, it's, it's in not. the county. Just because it's in the county doesn't mean it's a county board. Yeah. I can see your you, point. You understand? One of my jobs as a county attorney, my statutory duty, is to represent the elected officials, right? Mm -hmm. Not to represent the mayors not to give the mayor's advice. And that got blurred to the point where I am getting requests from the mayors to help them with problems in their town. To, so, <coughs> and, that, and that technically is not your job. No, and but if you look at how some of these boards are set up, when they're set up with more than you guys, I can give you guys advice but I am not supposed to give the entire board advice, right? I give the board supervisor's advice, I give the treasurer, recorder, whoever asks for it, but I do not give mayor's advice. I do not give city manager's advice. And it gets to the point where I'm getting contacted by cities to answer all of their questions. And they're expecting me to come to 911 board meetings. And they want me to come sit in our emergency management meetings. And they want me to come sit in all these other meetings. And, <clears throat> you know, at some point that becomes a little bit absurd. Well, that's fine, because I don't think that's the, the argument here. Uh, it's, uh, I think, going back to the, you know, I, would, I just want to call it a gentleman's agreement, because there was nothing formal back how many years to the Board of Supervisors and said, yeah, go get the, you know, Hamilton County through their transition or whatever they had going on back those years ago. But by the same token, I think we can say, I think that's been long enough. You know, this isn't a discussion about the fringe boards and the, and the hybrid boards. It's about you being 100% full time because, you know, you do have the responsibility with law enforcement. That's obviously a county attorney right. job. And to make sure you've got your full time and attention devoted to the things, you know, yeah, those other board things that fine I, and I don't blame you for a concern with the small town mayors calling you up and you know asking for legal advice but to my knowledge most of the small towns have their council whomever right. that is and they understand it but if you have to tell them fine I'm cheaper, but, I'm cheaper though yep. yeah but you can always tell them in a nice kind way that that isn't maybe your gig and they need to look elsewhere but so that isn't really the point I think the point is getting focused back to Humboldt County as a hundred percent county attorney and you know, do your best to cease and desist uh, the time spent in Hamilton County, because that isn't really. I don't believe it's correct. I don't know. That's my opinion, and from what I see and hear and know lately, and you guys are here, and hopefully everybody else can hear on the computer. Uh, but you know, it was a board decision apparently many years ago to say, yeah, go ahead and help them out. And I think. And, and you know, it, obviously there's nothing in the minutes because we. I don't know if you even look. Have you ever even looked, Peggy? No, but yeah. I don't think, I don't think there was a vote or anything like no. that. I think it was just more of a go help them out because we help out surrounding counties. They help us back. But like Eric said, you know, that was six years ago. I don't think it was intended to. Uh, I don't think the board's intent at that time was to say, oh, that's it, wasn't, it wasn't mine. Oh, oh hey, yeah. I believe I you, believe John, there. It, you know, it, I mean, you all don't know Pat, but <clears throat> it. To me, this is this is helping out my friend who's been, again, out of his way to be kind to me when he never needed to be. Mm -hmm. So it's helping him out, but, I mean, again, he's 75. He's the oldest and longest tenured county attorney in Iowa. Um, I, 
you have to understand, I never expected him to work this long. Yeah. I, I expected him to be done. I mean, it wasn't like I got into this going, you know, I'm going to do this for the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. I got into this knowing the guy's past retirement age and can go any time and thinking it was his last term. And it wasn't. I mean, it, you look at 2014, he didn't know he was running when I said I held him out. And then he ran. Mm -hmm. And then he ran again. So, But he's just not somebody that I've ever said no to. Not because I feel like I need, oh, shoot. <laughs> well, I don't want to <laughs> believe that. And, and not, I'm sure he's a wonderful man. He's yeah. the longest tenured county attorney. God bless him for his years of service. But he works for Hamilton County. He's elected in Hamilton County. It's Hamilton County's concern if he needs assistance, then, then maybe they need to hire an assistant county attorney or do something to that degree. Not be, through your good nature and, and, and helping a longtime friend, I don't think that's Humboldt County's responsibility to be sharing you any percentage of the time yeah, with them. That's, you know, I mean, you look, you look at it as a percentage of time and, and you talk about full-time Humboldt County attorney. I mean, I was in the sheriff department until about midnight Saturday night. I mean, it's not like my job here is 8 to 4, Friday right. to Friday. Mm -hmm. My job's always including nights and weekends, and sometimes really early mornings. But, you know, when you talk about the time that I put in, I guess I take issue with you thinking I work like 30 or 24 hours a week here. I don't, I'm not close to that. Not close. Um, and I get calls, I work on the weekends, I work at night. I mean, it, we have. Well, no, typically that's when you get them calls. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday night. But I mean, I, Saturday night. But yeah. I've always been willing to go in, always been willing to help. I write a ton of search warrants. I edit the search warrants. I don't write. I am, you know, as far as being available for law enforcement and helping law enforcement, um, I am absolutely available for them. Uh, this has been a ridiculous time of work. Um, we have stuff, and we don't. We have stuff, and then we don't. People are home. People are out with COVID. Judges are out with COVID. Everybody's deep and out. Um, it's been a ridiculous time because as far as court wise, we're getting nothing done. Mm -hmm. I mean, since March, we're getting nothing done. Yeah. So as far as like anybody's performance, I mean, part of that's dictated by women in the court. People aren't, and people aren't showing up, whether it's attorneys or defendants. So we're not moving cases along. So we have cases that have now been sitting for 11 months, 12 months, mm -hmm. because we either can't find a defendant or we can't get them done because we're not having court. So it, you know, I guess if you think I don't spend time here and I don't do my job here, I, I take issue with that. But I understand, and I'll see if I can get something worked out. But I, am, I literally just got called to court. So go to court, uh, court. court. See what you can do on that. And if you would report back and let us know what you're coming up with. Okay. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. <clears throat> uh, if we have to. I'm sure if that's scheduled at 9 o'clock, we're held to that time, are we not? Probably better. And it's not 9 o'clock yet. But ben is on there. Do you want to ask him if you want to yep. see what Ben, ben can, can hear us now? Ben? Can you hear us? Uh, yeah, we're just contemplating that our... Uh, well, this is what your place is. Yeah, we may. We just. Is that okay? Okay. So we we'll either send you a message when we're getting towards the end, and we can switch if you're busy doing something else. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll uh, I'll mute me and uh, shut off video, and uh, when you guys can just send me a text message when you're getting close. Okay, we'll do that, man. Thank you. Thank you. You want to do the claims quick? Yes, go ahead. Um, it doesn't matter, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Oh, okay, well then. There's no hurry to get them out of somewhere else. Unless you want to get them out of the way. One thing off of the board. Yeah, go ahead, Bruce. If you got it. General, I had three 
313, 342.34. And drainage, I had 676900 even. No, look at that button. Okay. I accidentally wrote down the wrong number. Okay, did you, do you have anything in drainage? 67, 69. Oh, so you got them both. Yep. Can you both agree? Yep. Got a first and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Claims are approved. Oh, oh, I don't forget to sign. I told you, lift the next page over when you think it. <laughs> yeah. The total. Yeah, you did. I know. But well, like I looked on the wrong side. I looked up on the right hand side. Down well, down. I wrote that other one down too, and then I flipped the next page oh, over shoot. and there it was. So that's the reason I didn't know. Thanks, Bill. I'm not sure where our gentleman is. that's supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. Is this Colin here, maybe? Yeah, I'm on, on Zoom. Okay. Okay. Not sure which way to turn that. Dave's there. Face you guys, since there's two of you. Mm -hmm. okay. Got signs done. Things. Looks like we'll need to go into drainage to do I'll our make a motion to move to drainage. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yep. We are in drainage. For approval of a preliminary engineering report on DD number 7 sub 2. I don't know when, Colin, the proper time of this is, but Mike Ludwig called in and said on the Ferguson uh, Brinson Trust, okay. all of the land they own, they won't know. I just didn't want to forget to tell you that. There may be some landowners on here now. I don't know. That's the only one I got that called ahead of time. Okay. Thank you. Are you here for the drainage? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just do social distancing with your mask. And so, uh, maybe it's easier to look at. Colin, do you uh, want to go through your information that you we have copies of here? Thank you. 
that basically will go through any objections which Eddie already gave one, but if there's, if there's any if there's any more and then I'll have opportunity for any landowners who are on on this video call or in the boardroom to provide their input. Um, and we can use those objections to check for a remonstrance. And so basically how the, how these drainage projects work for those of you who may, may or may not know, is a petition comes in, which, which it did, and then uh, an engineer is hired, which was me to do an engineer's report. Um, and then any landowners within the district can object to the project if they, or they can, they can provide a letter of support as well. But um, an objection would count for something called Vermont. Essentially, if by population the landowners in the district, more than 50% of the landowners object, that also own that more than 70% of the lands in the district, then the project is automatically shut down, basically. It's, it's, it's done right there. So we would just end the hearing at that point. Uh, that Vermont meant. If it's not, um, then it goes.
common with drainage systems that were put in in the early 1900s that for that time, in, in farming practices and, and everything at that time, it was maybe fine, but for decades and decades now, that that is not enough to meet the, the drainage needs of current current day practice. And to that point, in, in the early 1990s, um, another project was done to put in a relief main tile. And so what that essentially did is there was a 20, 24 inch down to a 20 inch tile that would run along the existing uh, main tile. And that was, and, and then everything basically north of that relief main that was put in all drained into that. And then anything from the south still drains into the original main tile. And together, those two, those two trunk mains provide a half-inch drainage coefficient. And that's, that's kind of been the modern standard for since the 1950s, is a half-inch drainage coefficient, which is double what it was originally. Uh, there is some, in, in more recent years, there's been projects where we done a higher drainage coefficient than that, but typically, if, especially if there's some surface runoff, then a half inch drainage coefficient is added. Um, one, one thing I want to mention with that relief domain, so it didn't go, it didn't follow the main tile all the way up to the end. It stopped short. And so that that's kind of where this project comes in is end of the district where that relief main stopped short, it's, it's still relying on the whole, whole pile system by itself. So it's got like a quarter in drainage coefficient, even though downstream of it, um, that original main pile has a half inch drainage coefficient for the land that it, it drains. That upper end does not. And, that, and that's kind of where the, the petition came in. And there's, um, that's where this project is coming from. Uh, I, can I interrupt for a minute? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the original main that was put in 1910 has a quarter, and then the new main that was put in 1990 has a half. Well, or is it joint together they have a half? Joint, joint together they have a half. Okay, yep. that, that was my question.
would have to hook on to that 110 year old tie. Um, and with the with the original engineers report, our plan was to continue on from basically where that release main ended, run east, and then cross Hawaii Avenue and turn turn north, perpendicular north, and run run up the side of that road. There's branch five tile there that basically is underneath the road and not only is it not providing adequate drainage but it's hard to, if you wanted to tile into it it's in the road so it's really hard to get to. Um, subsequently that, that's part of the amendment is that this running that tile north on the east side of Y Avenue was, was taken out on the project and it's just possible that the landowner there might something there privately. Um, but basically what the proposed plan is, put simply, and this is in the plan, that we're, we're gonna, there's a plan sheet that was included in the amendment. It's an 18 inch tile to start for about a thousand feet. And then, then it would go to a 15 inch tile Cross the road, get out of the road right away, and then stop. Um, and one thing to mention is the, the original tile that we put in was at 0.09% grade, which is okay, that's pretty flat. Because we're hooking on to the, the old one, we have to flatten it out a little bit more than that. So the proposed grade that I have is. Didn't want to go much, much less than that. Make sure there's adequate grade on there. If you, if you go and not worry about sedimenting it or anything like that. Um, but we want to make sure that this, if we put a tile in, that it's going to be lower than any of the existing tile out there. So that any tile that's encountered, you know that, that it can be hooked into the new tile. So that's kind of the, the reason behind that. Um, and then, okay, yeah, the, in, with the 18, with the 18 inch, the 15 inch reinforced concrete pipe tile, that's about 14, 1500 feet of it, and the, the whole project cost with engineering and observation. Main 
pile that was put in and you've got like five branches and five laterals that are all just on one schedule. So if there's any maintenance or any activities that are done that, that cost money, that's spread across the entire district regardless of whether or not a landowner uses those facilities. So that's not a, not a fair way of doing it. And But that's, that was common when they were first classified how it was done. It was put on a single schedule. So the technology that we have now and uh, CIS and to make it equitable, we would break that apart into a different maintenance schedule to make that more equitable. Recommend rather whether or not this project goes forward to construction. We recommend a reclassification of the entire D7 sub um, And then I'm looking at this map here in the, in the amendments and attachments to the amendments. And you'll see there that's got the 159 acres that we see benefits. Well, we have the one written, the written one. So, anyone, I guess what Colin's saying is there's a need for any uh, further clarification before we move uh, forward? Peggy, can I speak? Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead.
Right now, right now, because to clarify this, hopefully, the fact that it's not been reclassified, that yes, everyone in DD7 sub 2 has a vote. Don't those people on the, to me, I'll look at, at the lower end that has a half inch coefficient right now, but the upper end only has a quarter. Isn't that the way it appears currently? Yeah. So now if you correct that and the whole main has a half, that diminishes the people on the lower end's outlet size. Okay, based on the whole area. Yeah, has anybody got any questions for Colin? Technical questions? I think uh, it would be fair to hear any thoughts then from the landowners present to the beauty of modern technology. Uh, certainly voice your opinion on uh, you know where we're at with information on this project right now. Well, we only have one person here, and you're certainly welcome to put, you, put your two cents worth in. Okay. No comment. So, yeah, you, go ahead, Julie, if you'd like to say something.
Yep, we have a copy of it. She was going to give a copy of the letter that we came up with, the approval, and then she was going to give it to us for David to do this project. Yes, Julie, that was in there. Yep, we have that, Julie. Thank you guys for copy. Thank you. Does anybody else that's on uh, Zoom have anything? Uh, this would be a good time for a commentary. for you on that uh, that obviously you always being in the district have the right to hook onto a county structure but that doesn't when you hook onto whichever district whichever county uh, district tile you're not held liable for hooking up to it so that I mean Obviously, private tile is private tile that you're responsible for, and district tile is district tile. So I mean, but it, yeah, I mean, yes, it, yes, pretty well. I didn't understand all of that. You have something? Else? Well, this doesn't. Okay, you're gonna. Currently, there's a. What is the old main that is in the uh, Jensen property? What size is that? It's so darn tiny. You can't even read it with my cheaters on it.
Okay. So the the land to the north will still be hooked to the old the older main. From what I'm seeing, they they do cross it two points the way it looks. Will they be a joint there then? I'm assuming they have to because they're probably the same depth. That, that's Mm 
Anybody else have anything right now? Uh, I guess speaking for the Board of Trustees, the only concern I have, it's kind of been brought up that we don't have probably every last landowner represented due to maybe not quite being understandable of how this all works. The fact that this is the entire district as it sets today because it hasn't been reclassified. So uh, when we look at remonstrance and, and acres and all that fun stuff, I don't know if we're going to be able to get an exact handle on that part of it at this point. Oh yeah, no, there's no, that's why we're carrying on to the best of our ability with this hearing today because we met all the requirements and uh, that is not an issue. that figuring then yes mm -hmm. and we're not much for our board isn't much for kicking stuff down the road so we'd like to get this situated and finished up today if at all possible so really it, it comes gets back in the lap of the of the district trustees then is what it amounts to knowing what we know and what we've heard Well, I think I have the technical procedure of it yeah, quite we figured out. Dave never did, a man Dave never did get on, I don't think. I haven't seen his name on there. Called in. But Sandy is. Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. Oh, yeah. Dave's still, Dave's not here. Yeah, the doctor's yeah. I didn't know if he'd mentioned he might try to hook up, but he didn't. I just checked him. 
So it's really going to come down to the approval of this, and as Colin mentioned, the, the approval of this would essentially say the project's moving forward. Is that correct? So, I guess, I'm not sure what the That's my question on that motion and, and or whatever the vote is. Um, uh, if you approve this, does that automatically mean that it's pushing the project forward? That's my question. The thing that's on the agenda is approve, approve the preliminary engineering report. clarification for everyone, myself included. Second, is there any further discussion on just the approval of the report presented? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, report is accepted. Now, do we want to move forward with this? Are we going to not? That's the decision because, as Colin explained, uh, moving forward would be a bid process, which there again is another stopping point once you get that. But we do have the preliminary numbers in front of us. I'd yeah. like to think they aren't going to change a whole lot. I mean, he did a real excellent job of putting information together. So I guess the question is, do we, we have a good report? I think we can use that as a guideline. Where do we go from here? Well, after sitting and going through all of this um, and read, reading this um, uh, contract for drainage through lands of others back from July, um, I, I'm kind of feeling it needs to be a county project. I, I really do. Um, rather than private. Yeah. That, that's my thoughts because of you're basically replacing a county main you're not, with a private main. Well, it's, that was one thing I was going to ask. The, all this engineering report, it's just a new tile. They're not tearing anything out. They're just putting in a new tile. Mm -hmm. And but this new tile is sized to take care of the old one in case when it goes bad. Is that correct, Colin? We're not relying on the old tile. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If the, if the two tiles together equal to half, that would be different because then when the old one went bad, you'd be back down to a quarter. But you're actually putting one in that's going to replace the old one. That's correct. Okay. That, that's my thought. Why it should be a county main. 
the other information I got though, the old one obviously left in place and everything that's hooked to that would virtually remain hooked to it. Correct. So it essentially is starting out anyway as just the tile to outlet the additional drainage. Yeah. It's not if it's there and it's yeah, big enough if the other one failed, you could hook up to it, but from further discussion, nothing old was going to be hooked up to it at this point. No, but but it is being put in for future use. It can be because if it's a district, obviously as we discussed, yeah. anybody in that district has right and, to hook up. And, and you know, to me, it's uh, I look at it. You're putting in a new tile. If you put a private one in, you could probably drop it down to a 15 for the whole project. If you're just draining your own land or even smaller. I don't, I don't call them. If they were just draining their own land up there, they wouldn't need an 18. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, if they were just draining their own land and not letting it, if nobody else has the right to hook into it, they wouldn't need, a, they wouldn't need an 18. No. Well, no, that's why we get the, what's your feelings on the benefits? Well, well, it's this new one is replacing the the old one is still there, but when it does fail, it's a it's a hundred and six years old. I understand that. So five years from now, when it starts to fail, do we go in and lay another another tile in to replace it, or do we do it right now? Is what the way I'm looking at it. So Highmarks has met the criteria for the land. They have enough land to. To make this thing yeah, it's basically up to the board the way so the That's the way I understand. That's why I asked the questions to, and then Colin really succinctly answered it with the remonstrance that there's no reason to kick it down the road because it wouldn't, uh, if everyone voted no, it's so wouldn't meet, it wouldn't meet remonstrance on the technical side. But it does really put it down in a very focused uh, acreage situation. Yeah, though. yeah. And it does. Go ahead, Sandy. Yes, and have a have a half inch coefficient. Yep. Okay. And so, how much land then? Just all that I'm trying to get. I looked at the math here, just on the letting get the information. One hundred and sixty acres. The hundred mark land. No, actually, this whole area is one hundred and fifty nine acres. I the think. Isn't it? Oh, that's right. You don't have this info in front of you, do you, Sam? Oh, that's too bad because it, it is a nice, nice presentation. I'm sorry. I could have. I think I could have attached the stuff to the Zoom call, and it, I apologize. It was just a Not, not remonstrance-wise, no, but we have the final say-so on any of these projects. Yeah. Then they'll figure out how many acres, the, uh, how they're going to be let, correct? So if they don't have those benefits, they won't be getting let as much, correct? The outlying 
if it's reclassified, the outlying areas would be very virtually nothing. Yeah, right? but only a hundred and what if they do the reclassification, which we will do if we go ahead with this project, uh, the outlying areas, only 159 acres are going to be assessed. For this whole project. For this whole project. With an average cost of six hundred and yeah. With, a, with an average cost of $629 an acre on these 159 acres, it says. If the bids come in at that appropriate price. Yeah, I was going to say, if that's close to only bid. Well, Would you bid it both ways, concrete and plastic? No. The old no. pile can be there until it fails. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. This is not replacing when we're saying it's adding. Yeah. 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 Well, like I said, we have to decide if 
we want to direct the engineering company to move forward with what we just talked about, or we can say that we don't at this point. And bear in mind, we cost in that. I do agree with Bruce. I want to say that up front that I would bet it both ways if it came to that. Uh, but I guess that, that's the next, that's down the road and we still always have the final say so before it ever gets done. But right now we can, our, our, we need the motion to decide if we do want to move forward and vote on that. Well, um, after going through all this information, I'm, I'm kind of under the uh, impression I think it needs to be a county tile. Uh, coming into this meeting, I probably was thinking the other way, honestly. Um, I'm going to make a motion to move ahead with the project and get engineering and uh, get us a report ready for bidding. Okay, we have a first and a second. Now, any further discussion on that? <coughs> I like you, Rick. I, I kind of was leaning towards the, and I still would like to see it done as a private deal because I don't know that the majority of the benefit still belongs in one with one farmer or with one family. And I guess I hate to see somebody that doesn't want, but by the same token, it's going to be a, a project that's going to be there. So, I don't feel that makes any sense. It does. I would agree with that too. You know, want to remember, if this was done right in 1990, everybody in the whole district would have been for all this. And it, it's not that way now, and I'm not complaining. It just needs to be fixed now. We need to take care of it. But if it was done right 30 years ago, everybody would have paid for it. Is that not right, Colin? Yeah. And I will say this too. So, I mean, we're talking about this project, and we did a preliminary classification based on relative benefit. And there's all these things that factor in, like which lands will benefit how much. And if you see, I believe, ooh, I didn't have that added up. But, I mean, with that preliminary classification, Hunter Mark. Our this hundred thousand dollar cost estimate they're paying for a majority of it, um, and then with that reclassification, when that actually does happen, there'll be a separate hearing where the relative benefits and who should pay what that can all be discussed at that time to make sure. And then the board, you you have ability to adjust that too. If the commission, if you if you believe something needs to be modified from that, you have the ability. To And it drags the procedural things in drainage. Then it gets into the reclassification. And that report has to come in front of us to take a look at mm -hmm. for the numbers. Yeah. And going to be prior to this project reclassification? That will already be in the ground then, right, Colin? The tile will already be in, then we just argue over, I don't want to pay that much, and somebody else is going to pick it up then. Yeah, a big piece of pie. Yeah. I 
think we kind of know, but right. we do have the ability at that to make adjustments as well. And we and we have in the past. We have. Well, that's why there's so much procedure and drainage, but we're following it, and there is some more discussion yeah. that can be made. Now. Mike, I mean, over there, Mike, you, you guys are in favor of this project? No, we have no objection. No objection at all. Okay. So basically, the only objection we have was the one that Peggy read earlier and days earlier. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we already know the technicality of the remonstrance, so that's where we have to make the really final decision. Mm -hmm. So, we have a first and then the second on instructing them to move forward and we've had, is there any further discussion? So I guess at this point the vote would be to move forward with the, with the project. I'll call for that vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, moving forward. So, I don't see anything in any of the motions about ordering a reclassification. Is that? Yeah, I would, I would recommend that. Uh, could you say that one more time? <laughs> well, I can just make it simple. Just direct the engineer to proceed with reclassification. All right. I'll make a motion to direct the engineer to proceed with reclassification. Second. Any further discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Reclassification as well. Do we have anything else on this column that we need to do today for your benefit and information? Commissioners found. Okay. Uh, Make sure they have the right commissioners. Yeah. Church asked the question: How will they handle the old tile? Can can it be that those on the old tile will be connected with the new one? Once it's installed and it's the district, right. they have every right to look out to do it. That's what I would assume. Yep, that's their decision. So the old the old one on the north side will just drain the north is what I'm understanding. Okay. All right. Uh, 
I, I'd object to that. I would too. Yeah. I, I think it still should be uh, the county main and be supported by all landowners. Otherwise, they need to hook them up to that new main. Yep. I think we need to keep it as a county until it does start to fail and then we'll pay the the district will pay to connect the yep. connect it to the new main. Great. And as far as this other technicality itself, we're running out of time on our Zoom meeting in general. I think we can wait on that. Uh, we would it behoove us to set a reclassification hearing date. Okay. Uh, typically we do that after the construction. Yeah. To make sure if something can change. This is a preliminary plan and we're still going to have to dig up the old pile and confirm elevations and the alignment can change. It shouldn't change much, but and, and then if we want to get the final project cost in as part of the reclassification as well, I would hold off on that. Okay. Okay. Anything else for everybody involved in Colin? Because, yeah, we don't want to run out of time to finish up our meeting here. Well, just to, oh, go ahead, Peggy. Just wanted to comment. Anybody that wants any of the the amendments, um, let me know. I can mail them out to you. Um, I didn't get this till just early this morning. I didn't have time to make copies and send it out to you guys. So if you want a copy, let me know. Yeah, we had to go through all the remakes. Yeah, no, well, we could have pushed it off. I found out it didn't have to be reset. We, 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 we got it accomplished. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Colin. We better move on before our Zoom meeting time expires. We've done Zoom before we bang you. Yeah. What's that? Before we're done Zooming. Before we're done Zooming, exactly. Thank you. Uh, this is just, we aren't going to be able to act on this today, but I'm going to put. In drainage still? Or? Yeah, we're still in drainage. And I'm just going to mention the drainage. But don't mention it yet. I, we'll put this on the agenda for next week. This is a, just a technicality, but it, we'll need to approve this agreement. It's maintenance of um, 62 with the private landowner uh, group uh, for just a small portion of uh, the ditch cleanup. Oh, that's an so egg that's that egg well that, that they have the same outlet as yeah. the drainage district. And this was like the final piece of their project. And this has all been drawn up. And they're working on the signatures with the landowner. And we will put this on next week's agenda for formal approval from us. Yeah, and then it can be recorded. Yep, and it's all, yep. So, but it didn't, I just got it very in the last week. So okay. that's pretty just a technicality on that project. Anything else in drainage otherwise? No. Let me talk. Most of the water drainage? No, 
second, but we'll have to wait for Peggy to come in before we move on. She stepped out. Okay. But we can go out of drainage, true? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those, we are out of drainage. Yeah, I'll just get this on. This will take two minutes next week. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. Okay. We're still working on the approval and deny 10 driveway extension request. Yeah, so we've got 
Yep. Pricing, because obviously they must not have taken that into consideration, or. Would you like to have that conversation and bring us up next week, or are you happy with this price? I'm happy with this price. Okay. Okay, I'll make I'll make a motion to accept the uh, bid from uh, Humboldt Motor Sales for the 2021 2500 HD Chevy. Any further discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Now discussion on the Murray Bridge project. Yep. I'd say, yeah, go ahead and gather up your information. I, I think we're going to have to look at our budget for next year because I am concerned about the future here. I know this year it hasn't impacted us a whole lot yet, but I think it's going to. Maybe not. Maybe I'm pessimistic. I'm guessing you're right. Yes, we just don't know right now. Yeah, there's just a lot of unknowns. Right. But it, go ahead and gather up your info and then we can look at it when you get to.
Jason's house. Um, I guess what what they're proposing is doing this alignment and feasibility study uh, to show potential uh, environmental impact based on either route. Okay. Uh, I have not heard a word back. Last I knew, there were 11 candidates and 8 spots open for bridge funding, which means our odds are pretty decent at, at the beginning of this year or next year. So I look at the money that we're spending for these types of inspections and researches. Well, I think you're doing a good job pursuing this option, and um, it's, it's something that, like you say, it's a large drive around, and it's something we can't afford to do on our own. I think anything on the study, we're going to have to have it done sooner or later anyway, yeah. so it's money that you're going to have to spend now or however. And I'm sure the state wants to make sure you're just not taking a route that's you know, nice or isn't the cheapest or the most advantageous for some frog or turtle or fish. How big of a pipe are you putting in? Five foot Okay. Is there a chance, Ben, can you tear that out and then just wait for the pipe? Or do we have to leave it in there? Or? And then cover it with rock or something? or?
Okay. Anything else, then? That's all that I have. Okay. I will uh, get your stuff together that I need to sign. I'll stop on my way home. Okay. 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 Thank you, Ben. Thank you. All right. So I got that done, that done, that done. Now, uh, we have the Elderbridge Agency on Aging Funding request in front of us. They had requested ahead of time to send this to you, whether you wanted them in person or to send it this way. And since we have the last couple of times done it this way, I told her it would be okay to just send it to mm -hmm. us. Yep. Well, as normal, when we get a request, we take it into consideration when we're starting in a couple of weeks. Right? Yeah. yeah. So it probably looks like about the same amount. Peggy, did you ever check um, this number versus what? I did last? not. Okay. No. I guess we can get to that. Yeah. Anything else on the funding request from Elderbridge? Okay. So we will take that under advisement and. Uh, Move along to further discussion on mask requirements at county facilities. Dave Lee asked me to get a copy of what Green <coughs> County did as far as masking for their county. There's one for Donovan when he has a minute. Um, I'm not sure exactly what Dave's thoughts were, but he asked to have a copy of it for today's meeting. So. Well, my question is, <coughs> I, and I glanced at the Fort Dodge paper on my way out the door this morning. Um, I saw on the front page that the city of Fort Dodge is considering a mask mandate. <coughs> well, didn't the, ma or the governor already mandate masks or in all public buildings? So, what is it? What is what is it we're after? I guess, what is it there after? If the governor already mandated that you should wear a mask, isn't that kind of overkill? I think so. I don't know. I happen to... The governor made the mandate, so if it's a mandate, then Humboldt County should be following that in our courthouse also. I think we are, aren't we? Uh, apparently, what's our sign on door requested? The sign says it's strongly suggested. So we probably should ch change it to the governor mandates it in all public right. buildings in the courthouse. That's what you want me to do. I mean, that's, that's, I, I don't think we have any choice. I don't think we either. Yeah. I've heard the discussion on what you just mentioned, and it did. It is a public building. Yeah. Uh, I just also. I believe so. I believe so. She said employees and visitors. Well, I also noticed that uh, the updated sign is basically all the offices are closed minus the treasurer. And that's what we discussed a week or so ago. Um, court may be open and that's all and those upstairs. I don't know. Yeah. I just noticed the ones that. But on first floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if so, that's. Do you want a motion on that, that we're following the governor's protocol? If you're, yeah, I'm going to change it from what we had before. I would make that motion that we're going to follow the governor's protocol. I'm sorry, Sandy, there was noise in here. Could you say that a little louder? I'm sorry. I will make the motion that Humboldt County will be following the governor's protocol. Okay. I second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? There we go. Oh, okay. Dave Lee's on the phone. He wants to tell us next. Now, well, Rick, you want to hang up on him? Oh, sorry. Just push the button. Because I can't hear anything anymore. 
Oh. Dave, are you there? She said at 10.30. Hey, okay. okay. Did you lose her after 10.30? I, yeah, at 10.30 I came back up. Well, Sandy's still on. I know. I'm not. Yeah, I'm on. I know. Uh, no, you're on Sandy. Your, 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 your computer's on. I know, but I don't hear a thing. Oh, well, you don't hear me? Uh-uh. <coughs> so you're on flight? Huh. Well. I know. <laughs> I don't know how I got on there twice. Well, probably the second us? meeting I set up. We uh, approved uh, following the state recommendation, governor's proclamation of a mask in all public buildings. So we're a public building, so it's going to be restated that we, people coming in to and working in the courthouse wear a mask. Okay. Thank you for the information that you provided us. No, thank you. So that's what we did. That carried. Uh, any further discussion on mask requirement? Or does that pretty well cover okay. this up to date? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What did you do? What did you Good do? Lord, man, if you can't hear me, then you're deaf. <laughs> we, yeah, we followed the state slash governor's protocol that all public buildings, you will wear a mask when you're in the building, and that people that work in the building will wear the mask as well. Okay. Look, you didn't change anything else on your door you shut. Get up and leave your desk. You put the mask on. Okay, but at your desk you're okay. Yeah, and we're going to be six feet apart. Okay. Yeah. And we didn't change any of the other previous discussion. If you say appointment only to come into the assessor's office, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Just that we basically. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So we just basically only changed the sign on the door to say masks are required. Okay. Not, not good to me. she's going to, yeah. after she reviews the numbers according to the, the way I read it or heard it. And I'm sure we'll just follow along because everybody yeah. else is. It's, it's a state of public building, we're a public building, so we're just going to go with that. Qu question on, we've talked about this, but generally speaking, and I guess I can ask Linda too, that when you're working here, the vast majority of people are wearing masks. Oh yeah. So yeah. this isn't this isn't something that it, we're just changing it to required instead of strongly suggested for the Say couple, the per, the couple the percent area. that maybe aren't, they, they need to. So that's really all we've done. We're not going to bring a deputy up here. No, in the hall. no. But by the same token, that's why I think the vast majority of people come in and have a mask on. The few that we've had come in the office from the general public have had masks on. Okay. I haven't had to ask anybody. Okay. I, I don't think we'll have to call law enforcement on that. <laughs> we should be good. Any other discussion on that? We have the claims approved. We will go down to committee reports. Um, I don't believe I had any committee reports this week. <coughs> I had one on Monday, um, the Edmo meeting that I left here and went out on the phone. Um, I don't think that I had, no, the ministerial board canceled, so I didn't have that. That's all I had.
Dave, Dave, are you still with us? Well, check the truth. 
want you to put, yeah, just keep that information, Dave, and you know, we can get back up and around. You might want to even just double check on that, what he's, yeah. what he's after. Yeah. Is it just, and there wouldn't be much, any maintenance on that. Well, they, oh, I know what it is. I, I know what it is, Dave. They're on the gravel road about a year ago. We had a big suck hole. And, and I think Peterson from Badger fixed it for us. So we had them, you know, Mid American was out there holding the pole up for a while for a few days. And that's, that's the one. That was last summer. Yeah. Yeah, but still. That was a repair. So that. Yeah, we started. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's probably what Gib is talking about because they farm right there. Yes. Yeah, that could be. Okay. Well. I'll tell you how little far I know I'd mention it. Okay. When Trish gets back in here, we can visit with her on that. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Anything else? I make a motion to. Adjourn. Adjourn. I will second Bruce's motion to adjourn. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.